Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Brit React, and today we are reacting to Dax. He's remixed Oliver Anthony's Rich Men North of Richmond. And I'm very interested. Let's see what he has to say. Shout out to Dax. Sir, if you're watching this, we are fans over here at the BR party. Okay? All right, let's go. United we stand, divided we fall. Preach. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. But it is. Oh, it is. Living in the new world. Is that the Canadian flag? Now y'all know I'm geographically challenged, okay? And therefore flags are not my forte. But I'm pretty sure that's a Canadian flag. Dax, are you from Canada? Let me find out. All right. With an old soul. The rich men know the rich men. Lord knows they all just want to have total control. This world has changed and I had to accept it. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer, I try to remember the devil divides Pressure appears from our peers Those arguments waste our time While helping to push their lies so far Ooh, alright, alright Dax, we hear you, alright uh, I think I fall in line, at least with this, this first verse Like, while they're so busy trying to get you to pick a side Really all of it is the devil working real hard to divide us Let's talk about it, let's talk about it Let's talk about it. They're so busy rattling us up and getting everybody all supercharged up that everyone is really forgetting who and what this should be about. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. But hey, who, 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 who am I? I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to turn you, sway you. I'm just here to be who I am and believe what I believe. And I believe that Dax is on to something here. <laughs> I love that he took this sampled the chorus and is gonna wrap all the verses and give us another perspective you know what i mean like this was such a viral moment with oliver anthony and i've seen so many things about you know him telling both sides to shut up the song wasn't for anybody in particular <laughs> like it wasn't for you it wasn't for you everybody be quiet sometimes you gotta quiet the noise and remember the the, the reason do you understand what I'm saying? And I, I love how Dax opened this, this verse, basically saying that, like, everybody wants to hear everybody's opinion, or maybe everybody doesn't. They want to hear their own opinions. But no one wants to really remember, like, what we should all be striving for. And that thing that we should all be striving for would unite us all. If you're a good person, you have a good heart, you have good intentions, at least. Now, if you're not one of those people, then get from around here. Because <laughs> the vibes over here are not that. Anyway, Dax, back to you. Your appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while helping to push their lies. So fuck political views. I got common sense. I know God made man. And the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control Preach. And accumulate so much regret Preach, By the time Dad. we decide to live We're practically already dead So I go to sleep with the thoughts of four By the time we decide to live We're practically already dead Which is what Richmond North of Richmond is all about We are working so hard to survive That we are not living our lives Everyone wakes up every day and we're chasing the dollar and the, the struggle is real. We were not put on this planet to struggle. We were not put on this planet to work to the bone. We were not put on this planet to just survive the days, the weeks, the months, the years. And then pass that cross on to our children for them to feel like they should have to struggle and get it. You know what I mean? Like that is not what we are here to do my friends god wants better for us we should want better for ourselves and and our families and our friends and the people around us we should want to wake up what was i watching i watched something or or something recently that said that everybody's chasing happiness and i don't know they were like i don't know if happiness should be the goal right like we should be like because is it realistic that we're all going to be happy all the time every day no but maybe we should be chasing freedom 
the freedom of our time, the freedom of our health, the freedom of our 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 fitness, like the 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 ability to like the freedom to do whatever it is we want to be doing with our time and our life, the freedom of our emotions, like we don't have to be so bound to traumas. All these things, that is what we really should be striving for. But no, the the mo the the majority of us wake up every day and we have to answer to somebody's job, somebody's time constraint, somebody's emails, somebody you know what I mean, somebody's agenda. Um, and then carry the burden of political thoughts and things and, and, and all these things that are going on, at least in this nation, the nation of the U S of a, um, I love this so much. I feel like I'm getting real preachy, but you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you got to stop the party. You got to get on the mic and say, Hey, listen, I'm on my soapbox. Dax, I love this. I, I love this. I, I appreciate it so much. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep with the thoughts of 45 years living in debt. 45 years can't pay rent. 45 years just for a pension. I'm too old to enjoy and go spend. 45 Listen. years working and slaving for rich men with no time for my family and friends. Then I wake up and pray that it ends. Working so hard for a pension that by the time you get it, you're, you're too sick to enjoy it. Because you've worked yourself into sickness yeah yeah that's that's this that's the system that's the cycle man Descendants of Adam and Eve, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking God out the schools. The descendants of apple, the descendants of Adam and Eve, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's a bar. It's a biblical bar, and it's just a bar. Meh. <sighs> It's of Adam and Eve. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking. We're all biting the forbidden fruit, my friends. We're all sinning. None of us fall short. We all. Wait. Let me rewind that. We all fall short of the glory. None of us are exempt. We are all out here messing up, making mistakes, sinning in some way, shape, or form. So how dare you pick up your stone and throw it at my glass house, preacher Dax? Who's who's pulpit are we in right now? What church? What the church? What church is this? And, and why you got the abs out? What? But, but, button that jacket up. Because <laughs> I'm married. And you out here flaunting your abs and, and preaching at the same time. All right? All right. Can God out the schools. Our kids don't know what to believe. From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails and Gen Z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. That's how they attack us. It starts with the youth. If you lie enough, you'll convince anybody the lies, the truth. So telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes, drive Woo! or drink. I, I'm not, we're not going to get through this song. We're not going to get through this song. I'm, tr I'm trying my hardest not to stop it every five seconds, but we're not going to get through it. These are conversations that I am having daily with my my community these are conversations i'm having daily there is no reason there is no reason at all that a child who can't even tie their shoes should be talking about sexuality at all do you understand me i don't care what it looks like i don't care what color the rainbow it falls onto there is no reason that a child should be introduced to sexuality before they are able to process other things that they're supposed to be processing like the a b freaking c's do you understand me there's no reason we shouldn't be talking about it so when there's all this conversation about rights and transitions and all these things it's like but th does this sweet baby even know multiplication yet and we're throwing sexuality at them that's abuse it's a i'm standing on it it's i don't care what form it looks like. i don't care what you identify as it's none of my business i don't care you do whatever you want to do but to be exposing these children to emotions that they don't know how to handle is not fair you're not giving them a chance not to mention i had someone ask me a couple of weeks ago how i felt about kind of all the things that are happening in the school system. And my simple answer to that is, you know what? If I'm gonna be a parent who decides to allow my child to go to a public school, then it's my job as her parent. It is my husband's job, it's my village's job, everyone around us, it is 
everyone's job to make sure that she learns what she's supposed to learn about herself, her identity, where she comes from, Jesus. Because if they're pulling it all out of school, then where else is she going to learn it? I can't depend on a public school system to teach her everything she needs to know anyway. She can't learn how to balance a checkbook. She's not learning how to balance her emotions. She's not learning all the things we actually need to know in life. So that falls on the parent. If that's the decision you're going to make to send your child to public school, right? That's my response to that. But when we're having conversations about gender and sexuality with children who can't even tie their shoes, there is a problem. If you don't see that as a problem, you are a part of the problem. Standing on that 10 toes down. I love you. I mean it. You can believe in whatever you want. But as far as the children, I believe that children are our future and we are meant to protect them. And if we're not protected, it's the same, like it's the same reason why you don't put a gun in a child's hand. It's the same reason they're not able to drink legally at a certain age or get in a car and drive it until a certain age because they're not able to handle the responsibility of those things. Dax, you got me fired up. I'm fired up, fired up. Fired the up. truth, so telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes. Drive or drink is crazy. Common sense isn't common unless it pays me. That's the thought process daily. Look at the content. We're creating lies, diluting our brains. I'm done trying to argue online with these people who think that a vote's gonna bring about change. How many presidents does it take to have a life worth living? An actual comfortable wage? No more school shootings. Let's unite these states. It's Woo! a damn shame. What the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you, wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it I love the president line um, because I think that's another subject. It's like, it, it, no, are any of us ever really satisfied? Are any, have we ever had a president where they leave office and we're like, he did it right. Everyone in the country feels like this president did it hit the mark everything he everything he campaigned about he did everything he promised he he delivered have we had a president yet that everyone can say on one accord that has done that no we're never satisfied and what do they do they're just doing what they have to do to get where they want to get it is all it is living in the new Say less, do more. I love that. Say less, do more. I'm looking at his tattoo. Y'all, we're not going to get through this three minute and three second song because I just have so much to say. And that's why you're here. All right. So pop some popcorn. Hang tight. He has a tattoo on his head that says say more, do less, which I love. But it looked like here I go again, guessing the flag. Uh, was that what flag was that? It's like green. Was it a flag? It was like green. Is that like. I don't know why I want to say like Nigeria, but I feel like I could be just making that up because again, we all know geographically I'm on the slow boat and therefore flags are in my bag on the slow boat because I don't know. Um, I just was interested, but I love that. Do less and say more. It's all about action. I'm sorry. Do say less and do more. Sorry. <laughs> it's all about action. The mouth can, the mouth can, you know, you can say a million words, but what are you doing? What are you doing? What are we all doing? I could turn that, I'm, and I'm saying that to myself. That is not me questioning anyone out there. That is, Britt, what are you doing to affect change? I feel like a lot of my purpose I found here on this channel, I react to these songs and I, I'm able to speak my truth and how I really feel and, you know, impact people's days and start conversation and maybe bring some type of understanding um, from a perspective that some people may never hear. You know, there are some people in life who could go through their whole life and never hear from someone who looks like me, someone who was raised like me, someone, you know, who who went to church like me and I'm their one interaction and, and I hope it's positive, you know? Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna attempt to let Dax finish because I don't know, he's spitting so much heat that I just, I'm fired, y'all, I'm so fired up. These rich men know it's the rich men. The Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Oh, I don't think that's a flag. <laughs> Dax, is that a flag? I don't think it's a flag. That was sensational. I don't think that's a flag. I, I, don't, I couldn't really tell. Dax, let us know. Um, I'm here for it. I, I'm really, 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 really here for it. And 
Um, you know, unfortunately, I think for people that look like Dax and I, right? People, people of color, black people, black people in the United States, um, we are not often made to feel like we can have a voice opposite of the popular opinion. Because if you have a voice that is opposite of the popular opinion, then you've sell, you're a sellout. You're not for your people. You're not for your community. You don't, you know, you don't believe in any of those things. And I don't believe that to be true. I think that I can disagree with my husband. I can disagree with my neighbor. I can disagree with my pastor. I can disagree with my teacher, like at school. Like, I can disagree with all of these people and we still can all find a common ground and I can still uh, be a proud black woman. I can still be a proud Christian woman. I can still be a proud wife and mother um, just because I don't agree with something that is quote unquote popular opinion. Um, and I'm saying that because I know the the other song that I just recently reacted to with Dax and, my, and uh, Adam and Tom, <laughs> y'all know I'm pregnant. My brain is mush. Uh, I'm sure he got, he got, I don't want to say the word backlash because I don't think that was the case, but I'm sure he got some, some opinions because I get opinions about my opinion. And I'm sure he had a lot of people saying like, why are you in a video with these people? But it's like, but it, it, he clearly aligns with them and he's allowed to align wherever he wants to align. Just like y'all can align wherever y'all want to align. Um, that was fantastic. I loved taking the message of Oliver's chorus and fusing it with hip hop and rap and truth and honesty and raw, real talent. That was just, it was fantastic. So shout out to Dax, shout out to Oliver. And let's talk about it in the comments, respectfully and gracefully. And I hope you have the day you deserve. Peace.